Wow, I'm very excited to share this news. Not only did Netflix raise my price to 20 bucks a month a couple days ago, but they're also dabbling in the art of stopping people from sharing passwords. It's nice when the underdog wins for a change. <music> Intro sarcasm aside, not too far, we'll keep it close by for later. This sucks. I put out a video a few weeks back, maybe several months, maybe a couple years, I don't know, everything is a blur now, um, about how Netflix and other streaming apps are really starting to destroy me internally. People gave me a little bit of pushback and said, Adam, it's nice to have variety, it's nice to have competition. Well, what happens when all the competition gets together and decides to screw us over? Netflix is now 20 bucks a month. Soon Disney Plus will raise its fees. Soon HBO Max will follow suit. Peacock will maybe change its name to something less ludicrous. Who knows what could happen in the future? But as for right now, Netflix is making other plans. They're setting the stage for what's to come. Remember like two years ago when the CEO of HBO was like, I don't give a crap if people share passwords? Well, Netflix does! In the coming months, folks from Peru, Chile, and Costa Rica can enjoy a brand new feature Netflix is going to be rolling out. What's happening right now is Netflix doesn't like that people are sharing passwords outside of the household. So this new feature is going to put an end to that. On top of that, it's going to go even further and say, oh, I see your cousin's been enjoying your programming. How about he join your fam for a couple bucks extra? It's going to know. It's going to charge them. You'll also be able to transfer your profile to someone else's household Netflix account or something. I don't know. This whole thing is trash. Now, before you start simping for Netflix and saying, hey, Adam, what's the problem? You're basically stealing by giving the password out to, how is Netflix supposed to make money? How are they supposed to get ahead as a business? Why don't you go ahead and pump those brakes for a second, Speed Racer, and let me remind you something. Last year, Netflix reportedly made a profit of around $8 billion. The year before that, $10 billion. Not even Dr. Evil would ask for such ludicrous amounts of money. The kicker? They virtually paid nothing on taxes for the last four years, so they're having their cake and they're eating it too. Or I guess it'd be more apt to say they have your passwords and they're keeping them too. So now 20 bucks a month for Netflix, plus the promise down the road you won't be able to share with friends and family. But how are we going to be able to celebrate Kissing Booth 17 together? In the grand scheme of life, is this a big deal? Of course not. Why? No, there's, there's plenty of horrific things happening in the world right now. This is, this is nothing. This is inconsequential. But this is also the internet. And I have a camera. So I'm going to complain, damn it. And I'm also looking at the young Adams of the world. That high school kid, that college kid that didn't have a cent to his name. But he really wants to watch the next season of The Witcher. How is he going to do that? I mean, outside of throwing on a peg leg and an eye patch and sailing the seven seas, I don't know how it's going to happen. That was, a, that was like a Pirate Bay reference. Is that still a thing? Is Blink-182 still a thing? I heard Limp Biscuits back on tour, so... I'm youthful. I'm youthful. You might not have gone out for ice cream today, but I just gave you your daily scoop of news. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you all Team Netflix still? This is great. This is just good business practice and you could suck it up, buttercup or whatever. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps crap you want to talk about. Or do you think this is a little ridiculous? How much money is too much money? How far do you need to go before you're just stepping on the little guy? That young woman out of college that wants to see the new season of Handmaiden's Tale. No, that's, that's Hulu. The blue collar worker just trying to make ends meet who wants to sit down, put his feet up and watch episodes of Seinfeld. Is that on Netflix still, or did that get moved again? The mother with 18 kids who doesn't know what birth control is that just wants to enjoy an episode of Golden Girls. I have no idea where you can watch Golden Girls. No matter who you are or where you come from, one thing is certain. Netflix is doing just fine. Thanks for watching the video. Maybe subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like some good commentary mixed in with some movie news. I do reviews here, rants. Anything movie and TV show related, you can usually find on the channel. Please like the video if you liked the video. Hit that notification bell so these show up right in your feed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Netflix, it's Adam. Yes, from Adam Does Movies. Of course you know who I am. I'm a really, really big deal. Uh, listen, I got a new concept for you. Kissing Booth 5. It turns out the kissing booth was in our hearts all along. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually the plot you were already going with. Cool. Well, all right, thanks. I guess I'll just talk to them then. Bye. Uh, yeah, I love you too. Hey, you can find other videos next to me. I think they're on this side. 
um, because it's it's like a reflection when I film. Um, you can also join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here via that YouTube join button. And uh, you can say, hey, Adam, I like what you're doing. Here's a dollar. Here's five bucks a month. Keep at it, kid. You're going places. <laughs>